Once upon a time, there lived a married couple, Jack and his wife, Honey. Jack and Honey were experiencing some financial challenges, but Honey was unwavering in her encouragement and support of her husband. Broke ass. So to keep a roof over their heads, Honey did what she had to do. Hey baby, you want a shot of this? Unfortunately, this was only a temporary solution. Baby, you can't go back out there. I'll sell the cow. But that's our only possession. Yeah, but it doesn't even give us milk anymore. He's just <laughs> annoying <laughs> as hell. <laughs> so Jack headed into town with the annoying cow. But on the way, he encountered a slick roadside huckster. Step right up, folks, and try the doctor's magical weight loss elixir. Don't be shy, give it a try. How about you, Sonny? Wanna lose some weight? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Too bad you don't have anything to make my cow normal again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's quite an unusual cow you've got there. Wanna trade it? I don't know. I was supposed to sell it for some cash. What do you have? Bees! Jelly beans? <laughs> I don't think so. I gotta go. But, my friend, these are magic beans. Guaranteed to help you reach your highest hopes and dreams. Really? I guarantee it. Besides, what do you have to lose? Other than an annoying cow, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. Okay, I'll do it. Jack returned home, eager to impress his wife with his shrewd negotiation skills. What is wrong with you? She was not impressed and suggested that perhaps they should spend some time apart. Get out now. Jack agreed and left without packing anything. And take these dumb ass jelly beans with you! Except for the recently acquired beans. Jack now found himself in need of two things. A divorce lawyer, and more urgently, a place to sleep. After finding a place to set up camp for the night, Jack finally drifted off to sleep. Jack awoke the next morning, his stomach rumbling from hunger. He then remembered... Jelly beans. Well, a guy's gotta eat. But instead of breakfast, Jack discovered... Whoa! A beanstalk, so large, in fact, that he couldn't even see the top of it. And since he had nowhere else to go... Why the hell not? This was a perfect time to do some exploring. So Jack climbed and climbed, like and climbed, uh, and uh, climbed. Look, it was really f***ing high, okay? When Jack finally made it above the clouds to the top of the beanstalk, whoa, he saw a building off in the distance. Jack entered the building and was blown away by what he saw. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? You okay, kid? You're not one of ours. Are you lost, honey? Sorry, uh, hi, I was just in the neighborhood. If you're in this neighborhood, then you must be lost. Nobody ever comes in here. And nobody ever leaves. Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at Mr. Theatrical. So dramatic. Are you gonna kill me? But you said. Dude. Nobody ever leaves because there aren't any customers. So nobody ever drinks us. And we live forever. Oh, that's perfect. Can I live here too? Sure. Always room for one more. And the big man will never notice. I I'm sorry, who? Uh, the giant. He owns the place. And he only drinks one thing. What's that? B who is that? Shh! It's, it's the, the giant. giant! Jack heeded the advice of his new friends and quickly shut the hell up while wondering about the source of the room-shaking footsteps. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I don't want vodka. I can't stand rum. I'll start with one drink, then have many. 
I command this bar to bring me my henny. Please, I beg of you, spare my life. Fee-fi, fo-fum, I'll consume all of you, not merely some. But, can't you drink something else? I mean, I'm not the only thing- Now! <laughs> oh. Now, bring me my symphony. Hey, Siri! What would you like to hear, Your Excellency? Something I can speak to. Your wish is my command, you asshole. What? I said your wish is my command. It's no hassle. That is just not right. I am so sorry, Henny. That bastard's really gonna kill me this time. And if I have to play this fucking lullaby one more time, I'm going to lose my shit. He never even plugs me in. Someone needs to do something. I need to do something. What? That's crazy. What can you even do? I'm getting them the hell out of here. Dude, I don't are you think that's so nice. No, no I don't think you should die. I've it's, ever heard. It really does not what sound like a good thing to do. And you will die. Not today. Psst, ladies, how would you like to get out of here? Yes, please. Are you kidding? Say less. Okay, I'm taking you on the other side of the clouds. You better get going. If the giant wakes up, he'll kill you for sure. Good luck, Henny. We'll miss you. I'll miss you all too. And Siri! Siri! Hey, Siri! <laughs> Intruder! You dare steal from me? Oh shit! Let's go! Hurry! What do we do now? Climb down this. What? I am not a fan of this plan. Uh, would you prefer his plan? <laughs> Go! You will pay for this. With your lives. I see you. You cannot escape me! Jack knew if the giant made it down the beanstalk, their lives would be over. Jack frantically tried to think of a plan. The axe! Of course, the axe. With no time to spare, Jack used the axe. This redirected the giant's pursuit of Jack. Oh shit. Ho ho ho. Green giant! Haha! <laughs> Not so jolly now, are ya? The giant lost his battle with gravity. The newly divorced Jack married his damsel in distress, and they lived happily ever after. With an unlimited playlist. DJ Siri is in the house. <laughs>